This is an ABC 10 News update. Good evening, I'm Vanessa Van Hefti with this 10 News update. A memorial is growing at the site of a deadly crash in Chula Vista. Police say a Nissan Sentra was traveling westbound along East H Street yesterday when it crashed head on with a tree. The driver and two dogs died on impact. Two passengers died at the hospital. A third is currently fighting for their life. Police still investigating what led to that crash. And police are also searching for a man who robbed nearly a dozen people in Coronado last night. The string of crimes began around 1030 at Centennial Park and the Ferry Landing parking lot. At one point, the robber struck a woman in the head and then robbed her. Police say the man has face tattoos, a thin build, and is in his early 20s. If you have any information, you're asked to call police. The U.S. has suspended all Mexican avocado imports as a result of drug cartel turf battles. According to Mexico's Agriculture Department, a U.S. plant safety inspector in Mexico was threatened on his official cell phone. And that's what triggered the halt of avocados into our country. Because the United States also grows avocados, U.S. inspectors work in Mexico to ensure exported avocados don't carry disease that could hurt U.S. crops. No word on when those imports will resume. Meteorologist Leah Pizzetti now with a look at your forecast. Hi, Vanessa. Yeah, hot, hot weekend and temperatures going to be cooling down into the next couple of days. A nice cool down of about 10 degrees into Monday. That's going to bring us to mostly the 70s, some lower 80s still for our inland valleys, mid 80s in our deserts. Uh, but we have a lot going on Tuesday. Heading into Tuesday, we're going to see even more of a cooling 15, 20 degrees in some areas. Gusty winds picking up and even some light rain chances.